guys welcome back to my channel happy new month guys it's been an amazing journey with you guys we finally hit 1k subscribers all thanks to you thanks for your likes your comment for watching our video and for keeping us busy In today's video i'm going to be making the ankara mini bag which is a continuation of the video we posted two to three weeks ago where we had to draft the pattern for the bag so these are the materials i'm going to be working with this the ankara print i'm going to be using this is the velvet um we are going to be using it for the lining i already wrapped a carry board with ankara for the handle check out this video on how to make the handle of the bag these are the hardware we are going to be using you have your roasted gum and every other thing so in the pattern drafting video for this bag i made mention of using synthetic leather or double face leather for the side and the bottom of the bag but i had to make this off camera to be sure of um the right way to go about this and i figured out that using a marco this is marco 2 this is marco 2 the very very light one it's very light you can actually replace that authentic leather for Marco 2 so that you will be able to get this structure so we are going to be using Marco 2 same measurement as illustrated in the pattern drafting video so now the first thing we are going to do is to take note of where the magnetic snap is going to be I'm just going to clip the side So now for the magnetic snap, you take note of the midpoint. What we have here is 5.1. So you can place it in between 2.5. So this is where we are going to be inserting our magnetic snap. Mark where it ended, which is here. From here. I can get rid of this so from here I can just come up by half an inch which is here we are still at the center of the carry board then you take your magnetic snap and from where you mark just take note of where you want the magnetic snap to be so I'm going to puncture a hole here and here and insert the magnetic snap so as you can see i've punctured the hole i'm just going to insert the magnetic snap so this is it so the next thing we are going to do is to take note of the flap now this is the flap we are going to be fixing the handle for the bag now to fix the handle what we are going to do we are going to come up from here to here we are going to come up by half an inch and from here to here we are going to come up by 1.5 inches from the midpoint which is in between 2.5 now this is the midpoint from here you come in by 1.5 inches do the same thing for the other side 1.5 inches then you come up by half an inch which is right here and you come up by half an inch which is right here So this is where we are going to be placing the handle of the bag. I hope you can see that. Now to, it, to sew the handle of the bag, all you have to do, you can decide to use a gum to stick it down, whichever method is easier for you. So from where we mark now, we are going to place the sharp edge of the handle, place it like this, just open it and place it like this take it to your sewing machine and sew let me raise it up 
so you take it to your sewing machine you're going to sew from here to this place from here to this place once you've done that take this other one and do the same thing and sew from here around just like that okay guys you can see i've already sewn one side i'm about to sew the other side now the needle i'm using this is a um size 23 needle you can see how it is it's actually bigger than the regular size this is the brand needle i'm using orange needles dp size 23 for the thread this is what the thread look like it's not the regular thread this is the regular fabric thread this is not what i'm using this is a bag thread it look like this can you see it it look like this okay so this is what we are going to be using okay now so i'm using a my juki industrial flat bed sewing machine so let's sew this round now when sewing this you don't have to use so much force to sew it because you want to be very careful when you are sewing so just sew it all the way around if possible you can just use your hand to move it so you don't make mistake just to be on the safer side because when you are using um so much force to sew you can see the thread is already um cutting so you have to sew it with care if it's cut you can always put it back and continue sewing so it's better to use your hand like now it has already cut all you have to do is um just leave it where it is fix the thread and continue sewing then you continue you backstitch and you continue all the way around so now i'm using my hand i'm not matching the machine i can match it if i want to but because i don't want the thread to cut backstitch and that's it you can take a lighter to burn this place you don't have to use scissors so you can just take your lighter to burn that place okay so we are done with the handle the next step is to fix the belt hook the belt hook is supposed to be at the back somewhere here before you can put the lining so we are going to wrap this with Ankara once we've wrapped it with Ankara we are going to sew it at the back like this so as you can see we've sewn the belt hook the next thing we are going to do is to going to place this sheep board on the lining just like this first thing for going to trace out the carry board on the lining as a guide to know what we are going to be cutting and where we are going to be placing the sheep board now once we've done that we are going to cut it out not cutting it out according to what we traced we are going to leave allowance so we've cut it out. I also cut out another piece for the front. So now you are going to take your sheep board. Remember here the upper part and here it down, which means it's going to be like this. So you are going to apply gum. So from the first part we traced, we are going to be placing the sheep board on it sorry about the way i'm talking i'm actually very tired i just sneaked out from what i was doing to come and do this video so i'm not really energetic like that okay so we are going to place this right here just like this now once you've done that you take your gum allow it to dry then you close it up so this is it so now the next thing we are going to do is to 
take get the midpoint so that we can insert the other magnetic snap so the, we are going to get the midpoint the same way we did for this side you can see i've inserted the magnetic snap the next thing we are going to do is to place it here we are going to gum the cardboard before placing the lining on it so now we are going to place it just like this take your clip and clip the edges then you spread the velvet down now you can decide to fold it all around you can decide to fold it all around or you can do it like this You won't do it from the top you do it from the edge of this top base which is from the side where this you are going to start sewing the side so from there you just cut it slightly and fold just like this can you see that so now i folded it why here i'm going to be cutting it out i'm going to be cutting this part out i'm going to be trimming all this place out like this so i'm going to do the same thing for the other side so now it's going to look like this once you are done you are now going to trim all the way around you are going to trim off all this excess lining so now this is it i'm also going to cover this place now with my lining fabric now the next thing we are going to be working on is the frame we are going to cover the frame with ankara and the side and the bottom of the um, bag as well. We are going to be covering it with Ankara just like this. And don't forget the bag is not straight. You can see we still have to maintain that slant shape of the bag. So this is how you cut the frame. Be careful so you don't cut the shipboard. I'm going to apply gum here all the way around. Dry it, you just fold here just like this. Fold here. You're not going to be folding the inside, just fold only the outer part. You're not going to be folding the inside. So, as you can see, I've wrapped the frame with Ankara. This is what the back look like. Only the edges were folded inside. We didn't fold the inner part. Then for the side of the bag, I just wrapped it with Ankara, just like this, and I left allowance, just like this. So now I'm going to be fixing the bag chain hook. I'm going to be inserting the chain hook. And see, I've inserted the rivet for the bag handle that for the chain and I made sure I left like 0 0.7 inch gap so that I'll be able to sew this place so the next thing now we are going to do is to place the lining on this side so as you can see we've also added the lining so now the next thing we are going to do we are going to take your frame 
and you are going to place it like this can you see what i'm doing this is the end of the macro and this is the end of the shipboard but this is the front so right side should face right side now you are going to be sewing you are going to start sewing from here directly after the shipboard don't sew on top of the shipboard just directly after the shipboard so let's go to the sewing machine and do that make sure you don't sew the shipboard just directly after the shipboard directly after the shipboard When you get to this point, you are going to raise the machine up. Then you pull it carefully. You pull it carefully in a way that it's not going to affect the shipboard. You go down and you continue to just like that. Getting to that point as well, you raise it up, do the same thing and turn it. Making sure that it meets with the end of your Ankara. I'm going to mash it down and so. Now, the way we've sewn this plate, that's how we are going to sew the other side. Right side fitting right side, the same way we did this side, that's how you are going to sew this place. I'm just going to sew this off camera. So we've sewn both sides. The next thing we are going to do, you are going to fold the lining like this. And you are going to cut off all this excess fabric. You are going to cut off the excess Ankara fabric. Don't cut the lining, just the Ankara fabric. Do the same thing for the other side. Once you've done that, you take this to the sewing machine, sew the um, top part of the phone so it's straight down. Do the same thing for this one so it's straight down. So this is what we have. We've trimmed off the excess Ankara. Now we are going to apply gum at the edges. Once you've applied gum, you turn it to the lining and gum it together. I'm just going to show you how to do that. We've sewn here. We've sewn here as well. So you just apply gum. So after applying gum on, this is where we applied gum, just this part. So after applying gum, you turn it, make sure it align with the lining. Make sure it align with the lining. So you turn it and press together around. When you get to this place that is curvy, straighten it like this. Once you straighten it like this, just turn the other side on top. Straighten it and turn the other side on top just like this I hope you understand what we are doing let me do the other side this is what you do the side these two sides you straighten it straighten it did the bottom part of the bag right just bend it on top by the time you add it to the main bag it will be straight so this is it now we are going to cut off the excess lining so having done that, you take it to the sewing machine, you are going to sew here yes, straight down. You are going to sew here yes, straight down. So now back to the business of the day. We are going to be attaching the frame now to the bag. Now this is how we are going to be doing it. So you place it here. 
I'm starting with the, the front part of the bag. You take your clip, you clip it. When you get to this place, just stretch it out. Can you see what I did? Just stretch it out and make sure it's equal with the bag. Make sure it's equal with the bag. You can decide to apply gum first at the edges before attaching this. But I usually don't do it because I don't like messing up. I don't want the bag to get messed up. Okay, so I'll go to the other side and do the same thing. Get into this place, I'll stretch it out. can see that it's very equal so I'll take it to my sewing machine now and I'm going to sew straight down I'm going to sew straight down so as you can see we've sewn the bag we've sewn the front part of the bag you can see the side so now you remember the height of our bag from here is five inches from here to here it's five inches so you are going to mark five inches from here to here five inches from here to here you are going to measure it and mark five inches so once you mark the five inches which is this you are going to take this this part and you are going to place it here as well you use your clip to secure it the same way we attached it here you are going to do it for this part all the way around the same way we did for this front part now i'm going to sew it all the way around just like we did for the front all the way around so guys we are done with the sewing you can see how neat it is so don't forget to send your feedback you guys had this and your feedback i would love to see your feedback on any of these bags and we are done so thank you so much guys for watching my video remember to like comment share and subscribe i'll see you in my next video bye